Hi, this is Sue's 11 Tarot. Okay, so um, I was just shuffling to see what signs I might read today. And then Capricorn popped out first. And then Cancer popped out. Okay, so I found that to be interesting. Then the Fire card popped out and the Water card popped out. Okay, so I have a feeling it has something to do with... I don't know, it was a little bit, um, this might be a private thing, okay, but something with, um, like, uh, sexual nature got some people in trouble here, uh, in the past, and then, um, uh, and then also, then the water signs harnessing, I, I picked up, like, that Aries energy to, uh, move, uh, like a, a CEO or a business type person, uh, and then uh, getting um, entangled in uh, heated things. Okay, so, and then both signs uh, wanting to align uh, their emotions through, through it all. Okay, so, now, uh, what I want to say is this, okay, so when our personal lives um, are working out, then um, then uh, business things can work out greater, right? And then if our family life is working out great, then our business life can work out great. So it's all kind of interconnected is what I want to suggest here. And so um, it's important to be... Uh, um, in your natural state of joy, um, you know, through it all as much as possible and uh, shifting the emotions, you know, when you feel something that's uh, out of place. Okay. All right. So it may not be out of place for some. Some people deliberately choose uh, a negatively charged energy, which is uh, fine, and use that to dig into subconscious mind and and uh, and then use it in their creative uh, efforts. Okay, whether it be music or art, right? Everybody has loved a sad um, love song one time or another, right? <laughs> Okay, it's it's the human nature. We go through a scale of emotions, right? Okay, so with that said, um, the Libra moon is um, going on. The influence of it still is what I feel. So um, there may be that aspect, but I feel like this is just like uh, wanting to do a quick... Um, uh, assessment of past energies so that we can move uh, forward, okay, uh, at a quicker pace, which is what I feel like the collective is reaching for. Okay, that's my interpretation of the, of the block of energy I received. Okay, so, whoo, <laughs> let me take a drink of water. <laughs> okay. All right, so let's see what uh, details we might be able to get out of this. Okay, so um, using that fire energy for positive things like moving our dreams and desires and our creations, right? Uh, so aligning uh, the element of fire and water, but also aligning it with the other elements too while we're at it, right? Okay, why stop at just fire and water? Let's just do all the elements, including, um, you know, just all of them. Okay, so... All right, so let's see. So these cards are really beautiful. I just want to show you. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay, so um, interesting. This crab is sitting in yesterday in one of the readings. Uh, there was, um, uh, I think it was a water sign, uh, was sitting down, or and 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 I said... Okay, once the fire energy goes through, collects, um, gets more charged up, then uh, this lover would stand up, okay, is what I got, okay. And then, uh, okay, so I did Capricorn too, okay, so 
Anyway, so when I, oh, and this one, does this one have a fishtail? Or is that the dragon fishtail? Huh, because a myth, mythological Capricorn uh, showed up in a reading. Hmm. Interesting. These cards are really, I, I love these cards. Okay. <laughs> I know they've been around, but I, I, I just came into them, so. <laughs> all right, so. All right, so let's see what's going on here. Let's move these closer. All right, so. Okay, and also in business, I feel like some uh shadow aspects of capricorn with some people came out and uh then was um expressed and exchanged energy exchanged okay so let's see oh uh, this could be love okay it could be business it could be anything okay so um let's see about aligning all the elements, let's say. Crown games, right use of power. Hmm, interesting. Drifter, experience life as it comes. Okay. Lost in space needing direction. Huh. Okay. Well, that's interesting because I know in one reading, Pisces got this card, but it meant something else. And then also in the last reading, um, if there was a sense of confusion, that was cleared up. So I just want to let you know about that. That was in a Pisces reading. Okay, so let's see. First breath, beginner's mind. Pisces got that too. Okay. Adaptability. Okay, yeah. Okay, so because I felt the Aries energy again. And uh, it was a, it, this has been a long message. Um, needing to be more flexible. Okay. And listening more. Uh, okay. Will of the Wisp, treasures hidden in the shadows. Okay, yeah, okay, so everything is as it should be, right? Okay, something greater can come out of those uh, contrasting experiences. Okay, vanishing mirror, okay. Yeah, that might have gotten a little bit in there, okay. All right, so, all right, in the hand, you, oh, this is like looking like uh, eyes of the eagle, rising above the fray. Okay. Now, let's use these other cards over here. Let's see. Um, oh, okay. So, let's pull out a moto card. Let's see. Respect. Okay. All right. Honesty. Woo. And, okay, Stonehenge, okay. All right, so I think that's a lot right there. So let's just, just dive in, okay. So, okay, so this is the thing. Okay, you know when you, let's say you're an artist. A lot of artists build the framework and then they fill in with color later on, right? It's something like that, okay? So if you fill your framework, let's say the year of 2021, as much as you can with everything you desire, then there's less room for um, other things uh, interfering with that, okay? And also keeping your energy aligned through it all. Okay, but see, if you believe in spirit, what happens is as you build that framework for your, let's say, 2022, right? Okay, 
then that gives time for spirit to make it even greater, work with you and make it even greater, okay? Uh, so if you don't and you're just moving along like a gypsy, which is okay too, it's all about choice, right? Conscious choices. And some people aren't making conscious choices, and that's okay too. But if you make a conscious choice, then your matrix can fill up with the things you want. Okay, so now some people like to experience life as it comes. Okay, um, but, and sometimes it's inevitable, right? Okay, but um, as you become more organized in your creation, then uh, these other streams uh, will be less, the things that you created in your framework would be magnetized to you instead of all kinds of random, well, there's no randomness, but instead of like um, all these other things. Okay, so um, if you want, let's say you're an artist and you want all these things to float in. Okay, um, there's that too, you know, so um, it's just a choice. Okay, so um, first breath, beginner's mind. This is practicing forgiveness, okay? Um, like when a child uh, gets upset, this came up in another reading. Uh, when a child gets upset, in the next minute, um, he could be happy again. And he's not holding any kind of grudges or anything from the past, he's moved, he's moved on, right? He doesn't carry it with him, right? If you carry that kind of energy with you, then it becomes heavy and burdensome. And then there's less space for your fast momentum towards your creation. Okay. So, uh, release, forgive, purge as much as you can and kind of, um, you know, sometimes we have to release some of that knowledge, right? Okay. Doesn't mean that we, it, it didn't feel, it doesn't mean that it was okay. It just means that we're releasing it so we don't have to carry it on our backs, right? Okay. So there's that too. When you feel weighted, um, the, the positive energy uh, needs to cut, will flow greater uh, for these big creations. So um, think about that as you're moving along. Okay, so woodwives, adaptability. Okay. Okay, so I got being flexible like bamboo, right? Okay, bamboo can go through all the elements and still uh, be beautiful and luscious. Okay, will the wisp, treasures hidden in the shadows. Okay, so there's perfection in everything. And if you look into nature, you realize that there's nothing out of place. Okay, so, um, okay, it's all perception, okay? Some people, it's their job to see things out of place so that they can create the new, right? Okay, so um, at any rate, whatever is there, um, and some wonderful things can be in the dark, and some people see better in the dark, right? Okay, so let's see. Okay, so now staying out of judgment, okay, um, of other people can save you. You can save yourself in that way, okay? Um, if you go through and you're judging people, okay, uh, then that, that reflection can come back. As we open our hearts and accept all, okay, in unity, then this mirror, this kind of mirror can vanish. So there would be less lessons needed, right? Okay. Now with the lessons, let's go to this, uh, Emoto, uh, water thing. Okay, Stonehenge, Henge. So this is not about going to Stonehenge, right? It's like finding that spiritual place within you, right? Because you are a living crystal, right? Okay, so um, 
alchemizing unwanted energy and charging yourself with love okay can um, create a beautiful um, water crystal okay honesty okay honesty is not just about lying or uh, telling the truth right um, okay so honesty is being frank exactly saying something up front so you're not sitting with it and brewing with it right okay look what honesty looks like in water okay so that's in personal relationships too right um, sharing your dreams and desires and fantasies and uh, the the things that will bring fair play into your experience okay respect as we respect and honor ourselves then that can be seen in the physical reality and that's where it starts first it begins with me right okay Eyes of the eagle rising above the fray. Okay, so now this is that thing. It's like, now this might seem cold, but sometimes when it's a business situation, you have to move your emotions out of it and, and view it from a different angle, right? Or a different point. Okay. Um, so it's important to... Uh, especially in business to keep your cool right and um, view it like you're watching a movie and you're like eagle and sis siskert or sis uh, whatever their name is uh, anyway so um and uh view it like a movie and then you can critique it in a clear with a clear mind right and your heated emotions won't get in the mix Okay, so if you need to, um, take time out when you need it, right? Uh, say, partner, love, uh, I need a time out. And if it's a business thing, uh, say, excuse me, I'm going into my office. Or excuse me, I have to take a break. Anything, you know, or I have to step away and clear my mind and I'll be back to answer your, your questions or, you know, anything. Okay, so... You, the universe is your partner, right? We're all working together in this whole big picture. Okay, so um, if you aren't there yet, uh, that could be some work you could work on, right? Within yourself during your meditations, if you feel the need to. Okay, lost in space, needing direction. Okay, I don't think anybody's ever lost. Okay. Okay, so if you have a question about where you're going, you kind of still really have an idea because your non-physical self knows, okay? Your six-dimensional self knows, okay? So ask them, ask, you know, um, can you give me a sign? Can you give me a suggestion? Can you, you know, put it in a question and then they are able to uh, answer it because, you um, they're not going to assert their energy. It's a gentle, subtle energy. And so by asking questions, then the answer will be answered right then. Okay, but pay attention throughout your day or week, and it may show up at a different point in time. Okay, I feel like I just repeated a... a, a <laughs> <laughs> a reading here okay so okay so let's see tarot oh crown games okay all right so okay so maybe there was manipulation maybe there was playing the victim maybe there was um A little bit of foul play. Uh, okay. So we want to move from foul play to fair play, right? 
Okay, now infinite intelligence uh, is right there, but anytime we feel tempted to do things that could potentially uh, be harmful in the end result, uh, stop and pause and see if you could rework that uh, those ideas. Okay, so um, cause and effect is the biggest message here. Okay, what is my intention, right? Okay. Okay. Let's see how we're doing on time. If I have time for this, I might have to do... Oh, yeah. I have to do another video. Okay, so... All right, this is about to end here. So let's see. It may cut out. Let's see. Ace of Cups. We're going to leave with that. Okay. Beautiful. Okay, so... As you're moving through your day and through your week and months coming here in the future, walk with your loving cup. See this lotus transforming? It's beautiful and bright. And this is how I see um, the future, okay? With love, okay, and new beautiful manifestations. Okay, and I leave that with you, Capricorn, Cancer, and, and all the elements. Thank you.